Welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. Today I'm going to talk about condos. As uh, one of the viewers said, uh, I kind of got the impression you're not really favorable of condos. And somebody else asked me, what do you think of condos? And I just simply said, well, I'm not a big fan. I thought I'd touch on the pros and cons a little bit in condos in this market and uh, uh, what to look out for. I'm just going to tell you what I like and don't like about them. Not that that makes a big difference, right? But first, if you're considering a condo, ask yourself why. Are you renting an apartment and you just want to get away from that apartment because there's too much noise? Then you're not gaining anything by getting a condo because now you're going to have maybe too much noise and that person owns it and it's going to be there forever. So, so you're not going to be improving your environment. And there's a lot of different condos out there. So, I mean, I wouldn't mind one of these luxury condos. But keep in mind, this is 3750000 up in the Kierland area. Killer views. And your HOA is $1,650 every month. So um, people are definitely paying for the convenience of not having any yard maintenance. You don't have to worry about taking care of the place. And uh, it's probably not very noisy there. Now, you step it down a little bit, and you go to Scottsdale, and there's one here for $489,999. I don't like that pricing. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. Um, and it's a uh, it's pretty big complex, and that one, their HOA is $499 a month, but it includes your heating and air conditioning. The average HOA is about $200 a month. Um, if you can get one that includes your AC and your air conditioning, that's great. You're sharing the cost with all of your neighbors. And so they just, you know, charge you in your in your HOA. Now you step it down and go down to a place like Chandler. And you get one here, it's 257000 And it's, uh, I think it's just a one bedroom. Um, and there, it was built in 1985. And their HOA is only $238 a month. But... The problem with an older unit like this is probably twofold. Um, one, you can only buy it cash or conventional. FHA financing is not eligible for that. And the reason is probably twofold. One, they probably have too many renters in there, not a high enough percentage of owner occupants. Now, if you can't have something that's eligible for FHA, it really doesn't help the value that much. Because you've just eliminated an entire pool of uh, possibly first-time home buyers, or people that want to come in with like three and a half percent down payment. Then you have to really take a look at the HOA, uh, the, the CCNRs, and find out if there's any restrictions for um, Airbnbs. Because I don't, I think you're going to want to see some because there are some places, uh, particularly up in Scottsdale, where you know half the building is Airbnbs and people partying like crazy. Now, there is some financing hiccups that are showing up now in that because of the big building collapse in Florida, they are requiring before you purchase a condo that the association has to fill out a deferred maintenance form to submit. And it has to go back to title, has to go back to the FHFA. And they're just not real quick at turning these things around. And they have to be approved. So they have to look and see that that the building was maintained and up to code like it's supposed to be. So you know the drill. When you're going to buy a place, you've got your inspection. And then you've ordered your appraisal. And you wait for the appraisal to come in. And then it's just document uh, preparation. And then you get the keys to, your, keys to your place. But not if you're still waiting for that form to come back. And I'm advising people, if you want to buy a condo, don't think you're going to close in 30 days. If it's an older building, it's probably going to be 45. And some of these things are coming back late, and it's the complex isn't approved. So you've already gone through the appraisal process, the inspection process, and you're waiting, and you're probably out four to five weeks, and you find out you can't buy the doggone thing. So that's a bit of a danger. The other thing I really don't like is I don't like... The, when you buy a house, of course you have expenses, and you have expenses that increase, uh, but you can control your own expenses around your house. But HOA, you're sharing the expenses. So 
if they are budgeting properly and you need a new roof and they don't have enough, they're going to hit you with a special assessment. And some of them are wild. I saw one that was like five grand and it was due right before Christmas. And uh, it wasn't for a roof. It was for something to do with their, their stairwells. And so that can really burn you. And I don't like that if during tough economic times, uh, there's a few people that default, you know, you might have some foreclosures or people just don't catch up on their HOA payments, then they have to raise the HOA because you're all sharing those expenses together. So your HOA payment can keep going up, 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 and up. And you can see some of them are already, some of them are 400 bucks a month and they aren't paying for electricity. So you have to really be on the lookout for that. Another danger for condos, and this is in the lower tiered pricing, and I've experienced this firsthand with a with a buyer who ended up turning into a seller. So this complex had a lot of very few owner-occupied people in the building, maybe 15%. Well, there's an Arizona law, and they're trying to change it, but there's an Arizona law that says if 75% of the owners vote to sell the entire complex, then they can. And what they did here was everybody got a letter and said, we're buying your unit and here's the value that we're going to pay you. And we're going to turn this into an apartment complex. And some of the people are going, but I just bought, I just put $15,000 in improvements in this place. And you're not giving me a choice. No, we don't have to. Now, some of the people made out pretty good because they're coming in and they're buying it. They're giving them a pretty decent value. They don't have to pay any real estate commissions, take the money and run. But it shocked a lot of people. That tends to happen in older units that have way too many investor-owned units. So if you get in and you're going to buy a condo, and the first thing you see is it has its own rental office, run away. Because that's eventually going to turn into an apartment. Now, townhomes and condos, really the only big difference is townhomes, typically, they don't have anybody above them or below them. But you do have shared walls. Condos have people below and above, depending on which floor you want to live on whether you want to hear people walking or you want to have people uh, hear you walking that's your choice uh, it's always easier to move in on the first floor don't have to lug everything up the stairs um, you'll find that the HOAs can vary depending on how many elevators are in the building and how many swimming pools are in the complex now there's another thing out there called a co-op and they're kind of like condos but you don't really own anything you have collectively bought the entire complex together with everybody else. So depending on how many owners there are, your fees go up and down. But you can buy them for like $85,000 and you go, wow, this is a bargain. Well, you don't really own that. It's a co-op. It's very popular up in New York. So in a condom condominium, you own everything within your four walls. The roof is shared. The stairs, the expenses are shared. So are the grounds, the parking lot and all the amenities like the clubhouse and swimming pool. So you can do whatever you want to the inside of your unit. Uh, you can't do anything to the outside. That has to be voted on collectively. Now, if we look at the market right now, their inventory is climbing at just about the same rate as single family residences. So they're not skewing one way or another. Their price is not changing coming going up or down faster than single family homes so as far as value and equity um, they're staying about the same as far as the percentage of increase or decrease if things start getting really tight um, condos become harder and harder to sell because buyers start gravitating back towards the three bedroom two bath house so condos lose their flavor so Watch out on condos. If you have any questions on those, be sure and email me at rick at rickhelps.com. Take care.